Welcome everybody to this Microsoft 365 feature demo show where, where, where we always talk about the latest and greatest uh, capabilities across Copilot and SharePoint and all of the other goodness stuff what we have in Microsoft 365. And this time, this is kind of a follow-up video on, on something which we did uh, previously, Tina, as well. Um, but it is something which we put it in the in the video notes as well. So if you if you if this is already like, hey, I don't understand how do we got to this moment of a time, there's another video which will walk you through that one, and that is in the and in description notes for this video. Now, uh, we're going to talk about FAQ web part, which is one of actually my favorite web parts. Uh, it's one of those super cool AI powered capabilities, which really reduces the amount of work what the content editors needs to do. So the content editor is still in control and decides what do we publish, but AI helps them to be much more successful and much more productive and on the work. I uh, almost forgot about it. My name is Vesa Yuvonen. I'm a product, <laughs> I'm a principal product manager for Microsoft. And today's uh, the real star and the demo uh, person uh, showcasing and the PM behind of all of these capabilities as well, together with all of the engineers and everybody else is Tina. Can you do a quick intro of who you are as well? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, this is Tina. I'm a senior product manager at Microsoft uh, SharePoint Experience team. And I'm super happy today uh, to talk about more exciting features coming from the FAQ web part. Now, can we just for those who don't have time to watch the previous video and don't clue, don't have no clue what is an FAQ web part? Can we do a quick recap what it is, and then let's jump to the live demo on on the improvements. But what is yeah, FAQ web part? Exactly. So FAQ web part is one is the only one that actually powered by AI web part now available in the SharePoint. So basically, if you have some grounding browse, then you can link that and AI will give you a quick generation of uh, from starting from category to the questions to the answers put it in a really well format faq yeah. and this is one of like a sharepoint first ai native uh, web part available yeah yes definitely definitely and and also also something just to tease out a bit you said this is the first native ai web part there might be more but we're not going to talk about them <laughs> in this video so <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, obviously, things are evolving and, and there's a lot of, lot of cool stuff in the pipeline. But I think the easiest way to understand what is the new stuff in the FAQ web part is to actually see it. So let's jump on the live demo mode um, and Tina's going to walk us through uh, on what is the new capabilities in the FAQ web part. Yeah, so this is uh, the FAQ page which I've created with the FAQ web part. And some of you might already notice that there's another section popping up after the end of the FAQ web part, uh, which is actually designed for the FAQ viewers. Uh, let's say if they don't find any Q&A pairs that uh, they're looking for, they could submit a new question to the FAQ author. Uh, so as the FAQ author, how I can find those submitted questions? So I need to click into the ent uh, enter into the edit mode. And when I try to add a question, actually you can see all the submitted questions has been listed out here in the drop down. Really and nice. The, so the, the viewers can suggest additional questions with some and answers with some mission, missing person. That's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, and also uh, we give you the full control. If you don't want this fail, you can just simply toggle that off yeah. in the content pane. Yeah. Uh, so besides of that, I think some of you could see here is another interesting notification coming up here. Yeah, we've heard a lot of feedback like, um, FAQ web part previously we're working on helping you to generate the FAQ like from half of a day to just 10 or 15 minutes uh, in a really, really good format, high quality content. But how I can make sure like as the FAQ author, my FAQ is always up to date, The especially for the answer accuracy, uh, especially for the new question which being submitted by the viewers. So now with the help of AI, you actually will give you a way not only generate, like it's not never a one-time thing, you okay. have your FAQ stay relevant all the time. So I'm going to click on review AI suggestions here. 
And again, I like the fact that it's the content editor which is still in control. So we don't necessarily we don't we don't basically say do AI whatever you want to do. No, no, no. It's the content editor is still in control, um, but AI is suggesting um, those improvements. So really good. Yeah, so here in the progress bar, you can see uh, the AI actually uh, start to think about, oh, this additional question has been asked like almost four yeah. times. Uh, so maybe this is something as the FAQ author, you should consider to add to your uh, current FAQ web part. And does that also include any of the changes in the files? Uh, so does it suggest changes? If there has been changes in the file, will those be in this list as well? That's a good point. So here you see they uh, with since I'm always updating the grounding files because it's more like a formalized being reviewed word document. So I've changed the price. We want to increase some of the price and we change some of like the key date in the original files. You see, actually AI try to capture all the changes and give you the detailed reasoning. Uh, let's maybe uh, take a look on them one by one. So for the very first thing, oh, it suggests you to add this question. So I will just simply accept this. And for the next one, uh, it's actually identified there's a price change in the original document. So I'm going to click on replace with the latest one. And for the next one, uh, you see here is a table, right? So uh, if I think, oh, uh, I want to do the further editing, instead of just simply replace that, I can insert that below. And then I can delete the, some of the content. Yep, really nice. And I can even ask the uh, co-pilot to help me to do some rewrite if I yep. click on the uh, co-pilot here, right? Yes, yes. Uh, and for this one, I can just replace this one and replace this one. And for this one, oh, if I think it's, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't want to change anything or maybe uh, there is something uh, I think it's not important. I can just uh, click to dismiss. Yep. So once you address all the feedback and suggestion from the AI, uh, you will see this message pop up. Is everything is up to date? So this is yep. the first feature uh, we would like to show you. Yeah. Really cool. It really makes the updating easier because again, you don't need to go manually in updating questions and answers and where they are and because the, you just basically take the or ask the AI to actually double check the information and then it goes out the needed changes. It's really cool. Awesome, awesome implementation. Yeah. Uh, and moving on to another new feature uh, is actually, uh, we've heard a lot of feedback as well. Uh, why not we can support SharePoint page as a grounding source? So now Excellent. this is available. You can either choose the current page if you're already thinking about your drafting a news post, right? You already have a lot of content uh, in front of that, but you still want to add an FAQ web part, uh, yeah. then you can just use that as the grounding. Uh, or you can just use any other uh, uh, existing pages on the site to use them as the grounding page as well. Is it only on that site or can it be linked to another site? Just out of curiosity on that. So uh yeah, as you can see here, it's actually giving you the different set. It's yes. not only limited to this set. Okay. Yeah. So you can cross reference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. And I think some of you see that now we also support the import. Uh we've heard a lot of you mentioned that, oh, we've already have a well-maintained FAQ. It's not in FAQ web part. It's like in RTE, uh, like yeah. many years ago, and we keep manually trying to craft it, right? And you don't want AI to overwrite any single word, thinking about your the HR, you're talking about the policy, right? You yes. don't want AI to overwrite anything. So now with this import feature, uh, let me give you, a, give you an example. I can just simply copy and paste the content. See, I have 12 questions. 
and I can simply import it. And I, I love the fact that it's smart enough. Of course, it's smart enough uh, to, to detect what is a question, what is an answer uh, from that text as well. So even though you don't explicitly call them out, so really cool. So Yeah, and it preserves every single word in yeah. your language. Yeah. Cool, cool. Really good. Really important part as well, uh, definitely. And, then and also put that into the uh, FAQ format so that yes. you can still enjoy like the update, uh, adding a grounding source and other piece of the uh, AI capabilities by adding yes. a linked reference source here. Yeah. Yes, definitely. And now you can select also, any of the answers and, and ask it to rewrite that answer as well if needed and all of that. So I, I love the fact that how the AI is present all the time and making people more productive. So really cool. Yeah. And also like uh, from my case, uh, what if I already uh, like I, uh, I already created an FAQ web part with the link documents? Um, but I still want to import some additional questions, right? I got some feedback from other department. So here you can see under this drop down, you can import additional questions here easily cool. as well. Yep. And then and you have the add to category. Uh, add it mm -hmm. to an existing category or create a new category for this. Yes. Really good. Really, really cool. Yeah. And let me simply uh, save this one. Let me delete the dupe. And let me save this page. All right, so what if I want to share one of the specific question, like the Q&A pair to someone else? Because for now you see like everything has been by default clubs, right? But I just want them to be really precise anchored to this question. I can now copy the link to one of the Q&A pair and share that easily with the audience. Cool. So it's, really it is available for each of the question. Yeah. 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 I think that's pretty much it. That's a lot of great improvements. Uh, so let us get back on the on the discussion mode a bit. Uh, so awesome, awesome. Um, and and this is a really good example of we roll out a first version of the web part and then we keep on evolving that. And and it's the evergreen, right? So anybody who's using the web part. It will be there, It has, everything will work, but we'll keep on introducing new additional intelligence, AI power capabilities on top of the existing web part. So awesome, awesome work on that by the whole team. Yeah, and there is something more to be expected. So we're working on like, uh, as the FAQ author, you probably want to know like how the user feedback of your current yes. FAQ, like whether this question is helpful or maybe this answer is incorrect so that they can report it or like how many views of the, the specific Q&A pair being expanded by the, uh, by the visitor, something like that. Yeah. So for those kind of user feedback signals, we will soon add to this web part. Okay. And another thing uh, which will come in soon as well is that now you need to ent enter the edit mode, then you can try all the AI updates and also like uh, review submitted uh, additional questions from the visitors. But, yeah. but it, uh, once we integrate with the knowledge agent, which is kind of like the hottest AI feature among all the SharePoint, uh, we will have a notification through, uh, through the uh, how to improve the site uh, yes. so that you can easily to see, oh, maybe you have four or five FAQ pages. That's really good. Side, then you know like which one has the update available. So this yes. is more crucial, yeah. That's actually a really good feature because then you don't need to go to the edit mode to see the modifications and notifications. You'll see it directly from improved the site uh, capability. So awesome, awesome work and, and design on that as well. But that's in the future feature. Uh, so that's in the, in the, in the next week. Yes. Yep. And, and like you were saying, Tina, when we started, um, the FAQ web part is the first web part which has all of these AI powered capabilities. And, and of course, that there might be more of them in the future. So there's a lot of, lot of innovation happening uh, right now across the world within within the SharePoint and Microsoft 365. And we can, we can potentially see some cool stuff um, sooner or later, uh, even more than FAQ web part. So. <laughs> yeah, I know, like, uh, but there's a lot of new announcement which will be soonly uh, shared with <laughs> all of you at the Ignite. Yes. 
the yes. state terms on that one. And still, what I want to mention is that though AI can help you, though everything has power by AI, still who, uh, we want to make sure human in the loop. So yes. make sure you take a good review on all the AI suggestions, then approve it or dismiss it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And the most important thing, if you always close up, please give us feedback. Uh, and of course, use the thumbs up, thumbs down in the in the product. And also great capabilities for showing us feedback and providing feedback. And also use the comments and blog posts and videos and all of that stuff. Because again, we are building all of these capabilities uh, for you as the end users and, and the people who are using that. Um, and we need to know what works, what doesn't work. Uh, so the input is um, incredibly radical for us for planning. Good, but I guess that's it. Thank you, Tina, for joining uh, on the video recording. Awesome work uh, on the on the features and functionalities for the whole team, of course, and, and great work on, on showcasing uh, the functionality today. So thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.